Today in The Sims 4, we're going to be building houses using numbers. Welcome to a brand new build series on my channel, very much inspired by the alphabet build challenge, which I'll have linked down below. I've completed all letters from A to Z. As you can see, I have built the shells of the numbers one to nine on this lot. And in the series, I'm going to attempt to build the best possible floor plan and house in the letters one to nine. But wait, of course it wouldn't be a challenge without some sort of catch. So there are going to be certain rules for each number. For today's episode, we're doing the number one. So I'm only going to allow myself to use the first first swatch for whatever item I choose in the catalog. We'll go in order from one to nine and you guys will decide in the comment section what the requirement will be for the next number. It can literally be anything. You guys probably have more ideas than I do, to be honest. For example, in the number two, I can only use two colors throughout the entire build. In the number three, I have to incorporate three bedrooms. In the number four, I can only use four packs. And in the number five, I only have five minutes to do each room. I don't know. The possibilities are endless. I cannot wait to see what what rules you guys come up with. But just remember, we are going in order, so I am now accepting suggestions for episode two. But please let me know what you guys think of this series idea in the comment section down below. It's only nine episodes, so it's a pretty low commitment series. We don't necessarily have to do it every single week, but I thought it would be a fun idea to add to the mix. Also, I kind of want to try uploading twice a week on some weeks, just because I feel like we don't see each other enough. Is that just me? And this series might be a little bit of a quicker filming session. But in the meantime, if you do want to keep up with me in between videos, you can follow me on my Instagram. I post a lot of stories with what I'm up to in my day-to-day -day life, which if I'm being honest is a lot of just me at workout classes because that's basically all I do. But sometimes, sometimes there's other stuff. But fitness and wellness are a big part of my life, which is why I'm very excited about today's sponsor, Factor. Fitness starts with food, and Factor makes it possible for you to reach your goals every single day with nutritious, dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. There are over 34 meal options to pick from each week with preferences like keto, calorie smart, vegan, and vegetarian. You also don't need to have Factor meals all day every day. The meal plans range from 4 to 18 meals per week, and you can skip weeks whenever you want to. So maybe, for example, you only need help with lunches during your work days, so a smaller plan would work for you. The best part is is that the meals arrive pre-prepared and ready to eat in two minutes or less so you can get back to gaming, working out, online shopping, literally anything else besides cooking. <laughs> It's definitely one of those things where you don't realize how much time you spend meal planning and cooking and cleaning up until you actually free up that time again. So if you've been considering trying Factor, you can get 50% off your first box and free wellness shots for life using my link. That means you can choose two free wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you're an active subscriber. Scan the QR code with your phone or click the link in my description and use code DRASHMAR50. Thanks, Factor, for the free shots. Okay, the number one, let's go. The floor plan for number one might actually be pretty straightforward just because we have no curved walls. This diagonal section at the top of the one could be a cool bedroom layout, and then we'll section off a two by three room for a bathroom. That leaves us with a lot of space to have a formal entryway right here, and then an open concept kitchen, dining, and living room. Honestly, the number one might just be a piece of cake. Also, can we just take a moment to appreciate the fact that this door is literally called door one so I think we have to use it. I think the biggest challenge for me will be not scrolling through the swatches because I just intuitively want to look at other swatches. <laughs> Maybe this eco lifestyle wood flooring. Okay I already don't like how the black doors look with this flooring. Okay we're maybe not off to the best start. <laughs> let's just play it safe and go with a white door for now. For bathroom tiles let's see if there's anything good at all. I can't even use these beautiful tiles from the four rent pack because the first swatch is the corner piece so that would just look really weird Ooh, maybe this first swatch from the dino pack polished marble tile those are actually really nice i don't think i've ever used those before how have i been sleeping on these dino marble tiles are you kidding me and let's pair it with these tiles from the groin together expansion pack okay for the rest of the walls i'm being so boring and i'm just gonna go in with this base game white wallpaper for now i just don't know what the furniture situation is gonna be like yet so i might change the wallpaper later Okay, moving on to the bedroom. Now, I'm not sure if there are any beds in the catalog where I actually love the first swatch. I guess the high school years bed is pretty nice for a first swatch. There's only going to be one person who lives here in the number one, so we can push the bed all the way to the corner and then maybe grab this end table from the pastel pop kit. The yellow swatch surprisingly works really well with like the pillows and the sheets. 
Before we do anything else, let's add some windows and oh my gosh, so many of the windows are like brown or green, like why? Why is the first swatch not white? Okay, maybe these windows from Grain Together would be kind of cute. Now, are there any acceptable first swatch curtains I could use here? These white ones from the Seasons pack are pretty good. Luckily, they were the first swatch. I'm kind of nervous about the rug because I feel like the majority of good rug swatches are always hidden at the very, very back. Okay, what about this pink cow print rug from the pastel pot kit. This could be fun. It does feel like we're going for a very youthful vibe with this one, so perhaps this is their first time moving out or something. I feel like we can go a little bit more daring on the walls, like perhaps adding a pink accent wall or something. Maybe bringing the pink all over this side of the room, and then on this far wall, we can do like a textured wall. Oh no! In my mind, I was picturing we use the white brick on this wall, but I didn't realize it was actually swatch number two, so I guess scratch that idea. Maybe we can use this cottage living beige brick instead. It wasn't exactly what I had in mind, but it might just work. On this side of the room, we'll add this high school year's desk, which matches the bed. With this white parenthood chair, thank you parenthood for putting the white swatch first, and this parenthood white dresser over here. I just moved the windows around a bit so I could fit in this Jungle Adventure standing mirror. Now for clutter, I think this will actually be okay because I don't often go through all of the different swatches for like plants and stuff. I very often just like take the first one and run with it. Like maybe the flower petals are a different color or the picture frame is a different shade. Either way, I think cluttering will probably be the easiest part. Let's go in with this classic base game fashion picture and one more plant in the corner here as well. Maybe on this side, we can do some like wardrobe shelving or something and add a cork board on top. Maybe they're in school and want to keep track of their schedule. I want to add these string lights as well. I think these would be really pretty. This challenge is actually way harder than I thought and it's not because I'm unhappy with the swatches I'm choosing. It's because I intuitively just want to look at other swatches the second I place something down. Like there is no world where I just place something down and don't look at what the other options are. I need to see what the other options are. Let's also grab these picture string lights from the kids room stuff pack and this classic base game light in the corner here. This is a staple for everybody who has moved out for the first time. Everybody's first apartment had this light from Ikea, okay? Don't lie. And finally, for our overhead light, I'm gonna swap it for this yellow paper lantern from City Living. And as a little Easter egg, let's add this valedictorian high school diploma because obviously if they live in a house shaped like the number one, they were number one in their high school grad class. And here's our finished bedroom using only the first swatch available in the catalog. Let me know what you guys think of it and let's move on to the next room. Let's do the bathroom quickly because I feel like this is actually not gonna be that hard at all. A lot of like the toilets the first watch is white anyways. This growing together vanity already kind of matches our wallpaper. And then I'm pretty sure the shower tub combo should also match. Oh yeah, that was so easy. Nothing can stop me. I am crushing this challenge. <laughs> I added the pastel pot mirror just to make it a little bit more youthful and now going in with some items from the bathroom clutter kit. Oddly enough, a lot of bathroom rugs, the first swatch is already like teal slash turquoise, like this one from Cats and Dogs, this one from the base game, this one from Parenthood, even this one from high school years. It's like they wanted us to make teal colored bathrooms. <laughs> And here's our first swatch only bathroom all done. You guys, I don't really have anything bad to say about it, to be honest, it's pretty nice. Okay, let's work on a little entryway right here. And I think I'm gonna use this growing together door just to match the windows that we've already picked. Let's grab this yellow console table from the pastel pop kit to match the end table from the bedroom. And maybe this long mirror from the parenthood pack. We'll clutter up the bottom with some shoes from Dream Home Decorator and then clutter up the top with the everyday clutter kit. Let's bring the pink from the bedroom into the entryway here and also bring the cottage living brick onto the outer walls. Oh no. I didn't realize that the kitchen counter swatches were like so bad on the first swatch. Like they are unusually bad, like blue, green, like red. Why is the first swatch red? 
I'm definitely leaning towards a home chef hustle kitchen because I think I can count on all of the first swatches matching with each other. I think I'll actually be able to make a cohesive kitchen. The stove and the counters and the fridge match. I'll grab the matching sink as well. Okay, everything's gonna be okay. We even have the matching cabinets. Thank goodness. We're good. All is well. This kitchen is not the worst thing in the world at all. Would I like to change the swatches of this utensil holder? Yes. Do I have to? No, definitely not. I I will survive. Oh, as long as I know how to love, I know I'm still alive. And it's our lucky day, you guys, because the egg painting, the first watch, is all we really need. Hashtag blessed. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for our first swatch kitchen. Honestly, Home Chef Hustle was kind of like a cheat code here, so, you know, sue me. I haven't broken any rules, to be fair. Let's move on and try and fit a little dining room here, perhaps. We don't really need to go too crazy because there's only one Sim living here. Maybe just this cute table from the high school years pack. It kind of matches our color scheme. I want to use some fun chairs, but I feel like all of the default swatches here are blue. Like, why? Why Sims team? I kind of want to use these pink chairs from my wedding stories just because they are the most like youthful and fun looking, but I'm not sure how I feel about them paired with that table. But the other table options are just as bad to be honest, unless I go for like a glass table, which is not, it is not my first choice to go with a glass table. Let's maybe grab this one from Dream Home Decorator. It kind of blends in with the floors, so it's like a blank slate of sorts. I don't know, we can maybe pull this off if we tie it in with a bright living room. Let's put this huge cat succulent plant in the middle of the dining table, that seems fitting. <laughs> and also some more of these seasons curtains. We have some extra space by the entryway, so I was thinking of putting this keyboard up against the wall here. We'll just have to scooch everything over a tiny bit. I would really love to change the swatch on this keyboard, but unfortunately I can't. I am a rule follower. Maybe I'll put some colorful posters around it instead. And for the living room, let's use this boucle sofa with the pink pillows from the book nook kit. And we'll pair it with this dream home decorator TV stand and the beloved frame TV. Luckily, the snowy escape fluffy rug does have a beautiful first swatch. And let's go in with this pink pastel pop kit table to bring in more of that youthful feel. And I'll just have to add a bunch of other clutter like these dirty coffee mugs and just anything that I can find. Let's add some dimension to the ceiling with this industrial loft kit overhead fan. And there is a small sliver here to put a skinny picture frame. And I think that's going to be it for our first watch only living room, dining room, and kitchen. It really doesn't look that bad as a whole, but at the same time, it also doesn't look like super cozy cohesive necessarily. It also doesn't help that I tried to incorporate a lot of color here because a lot of the nice pink swatches and stuff are often hidden like near the back obviously. But I am kind of happy that I didn't go for a typical just like neutral color scheme because I think that might have been a bit too easy. Okay but now that the interior is done the question is do we do the exterior? For my alphabet series a lot of you guys did say that you wanted to see me do the exterior and see me like roof it and stuff. I'm gonna try and roof the number one. So here's what it looks like from the top view. Now from the front, this is our front door obviously. So I'm gonna grab just a gabled roof piece on this long edge. Okay, that doesn't look horrible. Now let's grab another horizontal piece like so. For this diagonal piece, let's maybe try this half-hipped roof. That's definitely not, not great, I'm gonna be honest. I feel like the right side looks okay, but this diagonal part is just not it. What if we try and cheat it a bit? So just completely ignore the fact that it's a diagonal piece and just put a half gabled roof here and create kind of like a porch landing. When it comes to roofing, nobody said you have to follow the contours of the house. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we can just frame it with a fence. I'm grabbing this one from the Growing Together pack to match our front door. Still sticking to the first swatch only rule, I'm just grabbing the matching columns from the Growing Together pack as well. And don't forget to add your matching spandrel pieces. And we'll clean it up with a matching roof trim. In this case, I can only use white because that's the first swatch. <laughs> Let's bring the eco lifestyle wood to the porch as well, and then also this cottage living brick. Let's go in with a mixture of some of this horizontal siding as well, just so there's some more dimension and it's not like 100% brick. Oh wait, this blue one 
one from the cats and dogs pack is much nicer so the whole build isn't like brown. <laughs> and then we'll switch the roof for this black sheet metal. Thank goodness it's the first swatch. <laughs> now we'll just finish it off with some flower boxes. These yellow ones from the base game are pretty good because it contrasts really nicely against the blue. And we can even put some of these trellis vines on the blank walls here. And I'll also go in with this plant in the corner here to kind of camouflage that weird corner angle. I guess it doesn't hurt to add a chimney, so why don't we grab this one? I keep saying I'm done, and then I keep adding more things. <laughs> Let's put it on a tiny foundation, quickly add these stairs right here, and now we're done. And here's the completed exterior of the number one, roofing and all. Not to mention, I only used the first swatches available here. Honestly, you would never know that this is supposed to be the number one until maybe you see the floor plan from the top down, but I think this turned out pretty sick. I've never done a first swatch only challenge before, so I had a lot of fun kind of combining two challenges in one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know what you guys think down below of the number one, and don't forget to also let me know A, what you guys think of this series idea as a whole, and B, if you guys do like it, what your ideas are for the number two. I'm open to any and all of your ideas for the number two as long as it somehow logically incorporates the number two into the challenge rules. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it and you want to see more videos like this. If you're planning on buying any Sims pack soon on the EA app or thesims.com, don't forget to use code Dr. Ashley at checkout and I can't wait to see you guys next time. So as usual, I hope you guys all have a very, very, very above average day. Love you.